So we conduct a series on two SRX 210 devices, uh, which are interconnected with layer 3 interfaces. Uh, so the layer 3 interface is Gigabit Ethernet 000 and the Gigabit Ethernet 001 interface is used for Ethernet encapsulation. So this is the console connection to the first firewall. As we can see, and the VPN tunnel is up. So this is the IP address of uh, the responder. Uh, and basically at the moment uh, my computer is connected uh, directly to the switch. So if we check the IRP table then we see that uh, this is the MAC address of the gateway. Let's clear this address. So now it's incomplete. Let's obtain it again. Here it is, and it is the same. So now I'm going to connect my computer through the uh, crypto wire. As we can see, now the computer is connected uh, to this firewall, and uh, uh, the traffic flow flows through the IPsec tunnel over the generic rotor encapsulation protocol and goes uh, directly to the internet. So now the idea is to show that uh, the IRP entry is the same. Uh, IP address of 10.0.0.111 through the DHCP server. And if we run the IRP entry list, then we see that uh, firewall has this kind of MAC address. So basically if we delete this IRP entry, Okay, so it's now deleted. Let's check it again. It's it is the same. Now we are going to uh, connect uh, the computer to work through the firewalls. Okay, so now basically we have this address again. Let's try pinging the default gateway. It works fine. Now let's delete uh, IRP entry. It's deleted. And as we can see, the IRP entry is the, exactly the same as it was previously. Dot 31. So, despite the fact that this uh, traffic is uh, running through IPsec tunnel via two uh, di different SRX firewalls, uh, the MAC address remains the same, which means that it's uh, below layer 2.